Hello, Brad Smith from The Way. So happy Easter to everybody. Happy Good Friday. Hopefully you're preparing to have a, a great weekend uh, celebrating the resurrection of the Lord Jesus. And, uh, and, and a lot of people will kind of look down their nose at, uh, call them creasters even, you know, Christmas and Easter Christians. That's the only time that uh, they attend church is on Christmas and Easter. And I've even heard that pastors will uh, kind of impugn uh, folks who do that during the service and say, hey, we'll see you next year and things like that. Uh, that's not what we should do. Uh, we should rejoice uh, that anyone is at a place of assembly with brothers and sisters in Christ hearing the gospel message. Uh, and maybe that's the one time they need to hear it. Maybe they've never responded to it. Uh, so I will encourage you, hey, find a church. Maybe you haven't been to church all year. Uh, it's not too late. Find a church this week and get there uh, because there's something there that you need to hear. This I promise. Psalm 119.50 says, This is my comfort in my affliction that your promise gives me life. And that's what we're going to talk about this weekend is the promise. The promise given to us that is the gospel of the risen Lord Jesus. That uh, if you confess with your mouth and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead. That Jesus is the Lord. That you will be saved. This is the promise that, that God so loved the world that uh, whosoever that he gave his only begotten son. That whosoever shall believe in him will not perish but have eternal life. This is the promise that gives us life. And the reason we celebrate uh, Easter, the resurrection, is because the resurrection is the validation of that. Listen to what Paul says in 1 Corinthians when he says, And if Christ has not been raised, then our preaching is in vain, and your faith is in vain. And if Christ has not been raised, your faith is futile, and you are still in your sins. If in Christ we have hope in this life only... We are, of all people, most to be pitied. And so when we look at the promise that Christ gives to us, it's not necessarily, and people come to Christ for different reasons. Maybe you come for, for healing or health or wealth or, or social justice or some other reason. Maybe you've, you've, you've come to Christ, but he comes and he finds you and he brings you to give you life. It's not those other things. It's life is what his promise gives to us. And this is our comfort in our affliction, not all of these other things. And, and, and as he gives us life, it reminds us that he's defeated the greatest enemy that all of us have, that is death. And, and the sting of death is sin. But he said that death is followed, swallowed up in victory. Oh, death, where is your victory? Oh, death, where is your sting? This is the promise. Earlier in 1 Corinthians 15, the last enemy to be destroyed is death. And so I ask you today, do you know the promise? Do you know the promise? Come, hear about the promise this weekend on Easter Sunday. What a great day to hear about the promise, the day that we celebrate the validation, the confirmation, the, the stamp, the guarantee upon that promise, the resurrection of Christ. And if you know the promise, what are you doing with the promise? Uh, are you keeping that promise to yourself or are you telling somebody else about the promise that they may have comfort in their affliction? So hey, if you're in Clarksville, Come see us at The Way this Sunday. Uh, we're going to talk about the promise. Otherwise, find a good church, get there. And if you're a man, take your families to church. And Easter Sunday, what a great Sunday to take, take your families to church. Have a great weekend. Happy Easter, and God bless.